Welcome. This is a video walkthrough to assist you in setting up your Cordal account within the user interface. In order to properly follow along with this video, you must first set up a node. You can use an existing computer or even a VPS to host your node, provided that they be loaded with Linux, Windows, or Mac operating system. You can also build a Raspberry Pi system of the third or newer generations and load it with an official image. Or you can simply buy a Cortector pre-configured from Croetic.com, which will circumvent the hassle of preparation entirely. If you purchase the Cortector, you can ignore the installation portion of this video. The Cordal Network requires two programs to set up and access your account. Both programs can be found here on the Cordal Project homepage at cordal.org. Scroll to the download link. Clicking on Download will present you with official links pertaining to your choice of operating system. First download, install, and run the Cordal Core. The Core is the program that designates your computer as a node and must always run. If your Core is not running, then you are not a node. The core must be synced for any interaction with the blockchain. Allow for the core to synchronize to 100%. In this demonstration, we have a running and synchronized node on the Windows 10 operating system. In Windows, you can verify that the core is running by pressing the Windows key and mousing to the active tasks. In this case, there's a pull down to click. The core is shown as a blue Cordal logo. If it's not synced, the icon will be red. Mousing over it will show statistics that include percentile of the blockchain that the core is synced. Once your core is installed and running, download and install the user interface. Under normal circumstances, you will only run the user interface when you wish to interact with the Cordal network. This video will focus solely on interaction within this user interface. Please keep in mind that Cordal is truly decentralized, which means more effort is required on your part than would be necessary where someone else holds the keys. No one can ever help you retrieve access to your account if you lose it. However, no one can ever access your account without your knowledge. This makes it fully secure and therefore your responsibility in making proper account backups prior to sending any coin to the account. For this reason, no Cordal team member will ever ask you for your login credentials or keys. There is no account recovery other than the seed phrase or the backup file. I'll show you how to make both in this video. Open the user interface. Click Create Account. Click the highlighted word Seed Phrase from amongst the context and you'll see the seed phrase for your account. Let's take a moment to focus on the seed phrase. The seed phrase is a master key to your account. This series of words is one method of backing up your account data. Do not share your seed phrase with anyone because with it they can access your account and then lock you out of it. You can decide to copy or ignore your seed phrase entirely and only store a backup file. You do not need your seed phrase if you save an account backup file. But this is the only time you'll be able to save your seed phrase should you wish to, making accuracy very important. If you were to manually enter your seed phrase incorrectly without realizing it, the blockchain won't tell you it's not the account you're trying to log into, and the mistyped word might match a different account's keywords. So you could be logged into the wrong account, but assume you have the right account simply because of a typo. Litecoin or other currency sent to this account is likely to be unrecoverable because it was never the correct account that you had keys to access. Due to this necessity for accuracy, the potential to incorrectly input your seed phrase makes it more complex than a simple backup file. And the potential to intercept your data were you to become a target of public Wi-Fi or simply to find the text file where it's physically saved on your PC makes storage of a seed phrase potentially more of a risk to your account. You can, of course, memorize the seed phrase. Novice users may choose not to bother with the seed phrase, but the best assurance is keeping both seed phrase and account backup file in cold storage. The term cold storage refers to a storage device not plugged into any system, such as a USB flash drive or a disconnected hard drive. Click on the Save a Seed Phrase option. This will allow you to save the seed phrase on your PC in the form of a text file. Pay attention to the location where you save this. Make sure you do not accidentally add spacing before the first letter in the start of the seed phrase and no space after the last letter at the end of the seed phrase. Every space counts. Click Next and you'll be able to save this account to your browser. This is not a name registered in the Cordal chain. It simply allows you to place a name and password so that you can identify accounts and easily access them from within the browser. Set a name and a password to use each time you want to log into the user interface. The password needs to be a minimum of 8 characters. Check the box for saving in this browser. In this demonstration, the box is pre-selected. 
saving within the browser is perfectly safe. Click Create Account. Now we're able to save the backup file. In this demonstration, clicking Create Account automatically gives a prompt to do so. If it does not, simply click on the Download Wallet Backup File option to receive this prompt. Select the location on your PC you'd like to store your backup file and click Save. Click Continue when you're ready to continue. Welcome to your new account. If the default brightness of the user interface isn't favorable, you can click this slider in the upper right to switch to dark mode. If you would like to download the backup file for your account, once you have account access, you can do so within the Cordal user interface. You can save and store as many backup files as you'd like to. It is recommended that you save the backup file not only to your PC, but also to a cold storage device, such as a USB flash drive. When you wish to access your backup file, simply plug in the cold storage device and point to the file. In this way, you can have fast access to your account while also keeping data offline. The file is encrypted, so it's perfectly safe to store with no fear of compromise. We'll show you how to do this now. Click the gear icon in the top right corner to access settings. Here, you will see the public key and address for your account. Your public key and address are not the seed phrase. These are perfectly safe to share. The public key is used by sponsors to validate your node. Your Cordal wallet address is used to receive court. Sponsors will often ask for both. Select Security on the left of the screen. Here is an alternative method of saving your account backup file. You can do this at any time and as often as you wish. You can type a new password specific only to this file and save the file as previously instructed. Let's test the seed phrase or backup file you just created. Select Logout. Click Login. Since you've saved to the browser, you can simply select the account by name and enter the password you chose to log in. Let's not do this. Instead, click back. The option Cora Address Seed is for users migrating from the Cora project. You will ignore this. Likewise, the Saved Account option will simply return you to the initial login screen with the accounts that have been saved to the browser. From here, you can select Seed Phrase and enter your Seed Phrase or select Cordal Wallet Backup and point it to your saved backup file you just created. Welcome back to your account and congratulations! You've now saved your backup file and a backup of your Seed Phrase. Further guidance for operating the user interface can be found on the official wiki. Thank you for watching. We look forward to seeing you.